All right, back here in the zone with our Chad Ricardo. Chad, hey. Good to see you, Chad. Hey. Yeah, on this Friday, and we know that it's Friday Night Lights uh, across the board, but we're talking about a local high school football game that already happened that got yes. a little crazy. Got a little bit crazy, and, and today we want to speak about sportsmanship, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Sportsmanship, especially in high school athletics, what is inbounds and what maybe goes a little bit out of bounds. I'll set the table for you. Last weekend in Virginia, they had their state semifinals. VA 6A matchup. This was Lake Braddock from Fairfax County heading down to Highland Springs. That's in the Richmond area okay. of okay. Virginia. Before the game and after game, there were allegedly some actions that may have crossed some lines. Now, Highland Springs went on to win this game to advance to that state championship. Immediately after the game, guys, I was getting calls from parents, from administration at Lake Braddock that were saying, hey, Chad, we really need you to take a look at this and what happened because we think that something should be done about it. We're about to hear from a Lake Braddock parent in just a moment. I do want to make clear that I reached out to Highland Springs on multiple occasions. The word that I got back from Highland Springs is, hey, Chad, we won the game. We moved on. We got a state championship to win. We don't want to talk about this anymore, but here's a piece, a portion of my conversation from Lake Braddock parent Allison. There were some uh, inappropriate um, Instagrams that were put out there, and we know that everyone, you know, writes Instagram stuff, but we saw some that said um, them saying some rich white kids from Fairfax are coming. Um, it, there was a video posted of the coaches, their head coach, I believe, having a pep talk in the locker room um, saying, if someone look at you, cut off their head and put it on the stage. When our boys walked out on the field, there's did machine gun gestures at our team as they were walking out. Um, they, at the beginning of each game, the captains go up for the coin toss and sure. their captains would not shake our, our boys' hands, um, which was the first sign that we should have known to not, not participate in this game. I would love to see them disqualified from this for what they displayed and for DHSL's standards, they should be disqualified. Realistically speaking, um, I don't think that their coach should be allowed to coach this week. Um, I've seen coaches penalized for a lot less and not be allowed on the field in the stadium during a game. I don't think he should be allowed to coach. Um, also, I'd be happy if they weren't allowed to host another um, big game like this, a regional, a states, nothing. Thanks. So certainly want to give a huge thank you to mm. Allison and again, the entire Lake Braddock community for reaching out. Mm. Again, reached out to Highland Springs. We're not able to speak with any of them to get their side because there's always two sides to a story. Yes. I also asked Allison what, if anything, she saw that the Lake Braddock parents and or students did to encourage the behavior that she spoke of. She said that in, in her words, in her eyes, that nothing was done by Lake Braddock to instigate any of the things that came from Highland Springs, but this is one side of the story on sportsmanship. All right. uh, yeah. I'm all for sportsmanship. We got to unpack this. Now, uh, sportsmanship should be number one, priority number one, because that's what we're teaching our young people when they go into sports. Correct. Chad, you and I have both played sports on every level, and I've gotten way <laughs> worse than this with no phone calls, no letters, no anything happened. It happened to me, happened to a generation before me, generation after. Um, I understand her frustration. Sure. At the same time, some of this goes along with sports. Okay. That's what I'll say. Yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying, but I also believe that we have to start teaching our children very early on that there should not be tolerance, especially if there's acts of violence sure. and w things that are said that, that I think that, that she raised that maybe are, there's a line, it's blurry, right. I don't think we well, know the, the, a definitive line. And, and that's line. the question, right? Um, and, and right, I mean, is there a zero tolerance or is there some tolerance? It appears that there is some because uh, Highland moves it's, on, right? And and Lake Braddock, unfortunately, they lost. sports, there's got to be some tolerance because there's, where, what's the line? between trash talk and intimidation. Well, that's not what I'm saying. It, it, there is a line, but I, sure? I don't think we can define the line, right? right? And I think that's why this is so complicated because she feels like there has to be a line that is that black and white, and, and it's just not. There's a gray area Very there. Gray. 
and therefore um, this is just how, how it and happened. I don't think they're going to be disqualified, is what I'm my, saying. Like, my, uh, no, my other question is, if sure. Blake Braddock would have won this game, would we still be having this conversation? Uh, you know, I asked that Honestly. question. I, I asked that question, Allison, and we do hope to get this entire qu uh, conversation yep. up on Fox Local because I think that this it's is an important conversation. conversation to have. Yeah. I, I asked her that, and she said repeatedly that this was not about the wins and losses. Now, I don't know. I can't speak to the hearts of the Lake Braddock mm -hmm. community, mm -hmm. but according to Allison, this was not about the win or the loss. She said that uh, that, okay. that their young men likely may have lost even without the intimidation tactics. Definitely but a larger conversation. Uh, yeah. Regardless, uh, Highland moves on. Lake Braddock is out at the semifinals, and that's where things stand. Highland Springs. Sportsmanship, sportsmanship, everybody. Highland Springs taking on Freedom from Woodbridge in the uh, Virginia 6A Championship tomorrow. In the sports, Sunday night, 1130. We'll be right back here on the DMV Zone.